So guess what? I got into Camp Galactica, woo! And I got this awesome shirt. I was so excited about my trip to the stars. Well, maybe more like to the sticks. But seriously, I couldn't wait to get out into nature and explore the universe. I was about to meet Doc and the campers and all the other counselors in training to do science experiments all summer long. Dream. You guys excited for camp? Yeah. yeah. I hear it's gonna be a lot of fun this year. We did it! We're here! It's so woodsy, so rustic. We're out here in the middle of the world to take on outer space. Ow. Okay. Gravity, you win. We should go win, if you know where in is. Uh, the rec hall is this way. Wow, these cabins must have been here for a really long... <sighs> Whoa! Oh! You like the new digs? They were designed to remind Galactica campers that even the farthest reaches of the universe are closer than they think. Now, I'll get you started on your own galaxy soon, but first, a message from a very special guest. <laughs> Stemily? <laughs> See, we already have a fan. Stemily, can you hear us? Loud and clear, Doc. I had so much fun at Camp Galactica. I decided to keep on making stuff pretty much forever. <laughs> in fact, my video channel is basically camp, but in my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> now, Doc wanted me to tell you about the Camp Galactica rules. Mm -hmm. So, number one, try stuff, take risks. Don't be afraid to do something, even if you don't know what's gonna happen. What's the worst that can happen? Don't answer that, Doc. <laughs> I have blocked out the entire July 2005. Oh, <laughs> oops. Number two, no one gets to space alone. The people around you, you know, they're the ones who are gonna get to where you're going. So just band together, buckle up, have a good time. And number three, actually, you know what? There doesn't always have to be a third rule. Some patterns are made to be broken. So have fun. I just can't wait to meet the winners of the Asteroid Cup at the end of the session. So bye guys, have fun, be safe, be wild. <laughs> Emily is coming here? Of course, she's presenting the Asteroid Cup. Oh, uh, for those of you who don't know, the Asteroid Cup is a friendly inter-cabin competition. And what better way to start that than with Moon Rock Wars! <laughs> Let's see how many rocks you can make to uh, personalize your cabins and go! Uh, Andy, we met on the live experiment thingy. I'm Simone. Uh, this is Neil, and this is Bondar Cabin. Yeah, I know who you are. Moon rocks don't really come in this color, but cute, I guess. In Hadfield Cabin, we're pretty serious about the scientific truth. Yeah, well, Stemley said to try things, right? Yeah, if you just want to hang out, that's cool, but I want to win the Asteroid Cup. Uh, what are you doing? Not bad. Needs water, though. Did you just eat our moon rock? Relax. It's just stone with vinegar. You can have one of ours if you want, but you better be fast. We made the exploding kind. Excuse me. I mowed one rock. Thank you. Oops. I forgot to say that we added double vinegar for extra oh. exploding. Oh. Fun, right? Made the best cabin win. Guys, I think Stemley was wrong. Andy's in a stratosphere all his own. We're gonna need to pick up our game. Moon rocks were so much fun to make, but the taste of vinegar is hard to get out of your mouth, especially when you take a huge bite out of it. Andy's a tough competitor, but I was determined not to give up. Our cabin still had a shot at the Asteroid Cup. Click to see more Emerald Code. Click for more cool experiments from Let's Talk Science.